And seat seven, we've got Christine Mashman. Uh, she keeps telling me she's German, but I don't believe it. She's been here long enough to be contaminated. She's more Irish than I am. Only so this is huge for the club players. Yeah. So we can expect this to be a little bit tighter little than, bit it, than you'd normally expect, and that's uh, because you know the jumps. But Christine hey, is well aware of it and makes the call with the nines. Yeah, absolutely. Instant call here. And it's just down to uh, a little bit of a race. <laughs> A little bit of a race, so let's see the flop. You know, sometimes everybody does everything right, and then you just have to sit back and let the dealer sort it out. It's a bit like sitting in the chair and snooker. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. you can't get up and kick the guy. <laughs> no, that's true. Sometimes luck does play its part. Okay, no nines, no ace or jack on the flop, more important for Christine. Oh, there's Ooh. the ace on the torn for Gary. He's pretty happy. And a jack to complete a two pair. <laughs> <laughs> nice little double up for Gary, and he goes up to almost 520,000. Yeah, that was just a pretty routine. Uh... Okay, Andy has a look at a pair of pocket trees. You know, if anybody's under pressure at this table, it's Andy, because he's the guy, he's the defending champion, he's Ireland's leading money winner ever, and mm. he's the guy that's supposed to win, which often makes things, uh, as you know yourself, Ken, it often makes things an awful lot trickier. Yeah. Welcome back to the Fitzwilliam Casino and Card Club main event, where the final table is underway and all the players have their eye on the prize. Let's get back to it. You, you're a bit short. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're, not, you're not you're doing it more. Yeah, you're not too far off. I know what you're saying, but you're not too far off. Yeah, you go 2.7 maybe. Yeah. You're not too. I mean, uh, I mean, the Fitz players have done the club yeah, road, Ken, haven't they? Fantastic. <laughs> I mean, so many of the Fitz uh, regulars went really deep in this. She's picked up pocket tens here. And, uh, and she's just gone all in, 790,000. Paul with Queen Jack has folded. And Lee, who has pocket aces. And how unlucky is this for Christine? Oh my God. No. That's a Run into it. pocket aces. Just get the paint out of the get that away. Four, <laughs> four to one underdog here to hit a possible 10. An eight would be interesting. Oh, a jack even. No oh, good on the river. And Christine, it has been very unlucky, but what a fantastic performance to get down to the last four. But she bows out in fourth place to Lee Egan. Out in fourth place, I spoke to you a little bit earlier. We were talking about how this was, you know, one of the places where you came and were first playing poker. So talk to us about this experience for you. It was still great, yeah. you know, obviously, like I had, I had this weird little goal for this year that I win a poker tournament. Obviously, it's stupid to make that a goal, but um, I was like, <laughs> why not make it this one, you know, and I make it really far. Um, and I, I hung on like really like <laughs> I shouldn't have been there even. So this was just unlucky, but I think it was uh, deserved that I finally bow out. Yeah. Well, the year's not quite over yet, so hopefully you make your goal and win the tournament, yeah? Still have a few tournaments to go, so let's see. 